Today we're at Liberty Oaks Elementary School, one of our six summer school sites for the month of July that we're coming back together face to face as well as providing virtual online learning opportunities. We've been excited to be able to welcome our teachers and our students back face to face as well as to be able to pilot some of what we're thinking about in our return to learn plans. As we shared last week, this week is an exciting week for us as we're able to roll those plans out to you um, to provide a sense of what the fall will look like, but then also ask you as parents to let us know what your child intends to do this fall, whether it's to return face to face or whether it's to continue the learning in a virtual online setting. As we shared at the end of last week, today is an extremely important and exciting day for us in Liberty Public Schools as we officially release our LPS Return to Learn reentry plans to our stakeholders. I'm sure you can only imagine the amount of time and effort that has gone into preparing these detailed plans to ensure a safe and healthy start for the 2020-2021 school year later next month. I cannot thank the individuals that have made these plans possible enough for their contributions going all the way back to the spring. Most recently, we've provided several engagement sessions with various stakeholder groups that included parents and staff among them. This valuable feedback, coupled with survey data from earlier during the summer, has provided us with many perspectives and ideas as we have navigated this journey together. As you likely know by now, we are providing the option for families of either face-to-face -face learning or virtual learning for your child. A parent email is being delivered today that provides several links to information that includes our detailed Return to Learn academic plan, as well as our most recently updated LPS Return to Learn procedures and guidelines for families to know. Following the release of our written plans today, families will then be emailed a detailed student census survey specific for each of your children. This will be when families make the decision as to how you will like us to educate your child beginning in August, either by face-to-face -face instruction or in our schools or virtually at home. Knowing that families may need time in making these decisions, the deadline for our student census will be Friday, July 24th. It's critically important for our families to be responsive to this process as it will affect building capacities, staffing, and many additional factors related to our enrollment data. I also wanted to share that we have several opportunities for you to remain engaged with us leading up to the start of the new school year. An LPS Return to Learn portal has been developed on our website and can be accessed by visiting us at www.lps53.org. In addition, our Let's Talk engagement portal has been updated with all focus on our Return to Learn initiative. This portal provides you with an opportunity to ask any questions that you may have in the coming weeks. In closing, we just wanted to remind you that we've been working very closely with Clay County Public Health Center, the City of Kansas City, and other entities in trying to make this a smooth and seamless transition as we return to learn. We're excited about the start of the new school year, but we also know that it brings with it a lot of challenge, a lot of questions, and a lot of planning still needing to be done. Again, we thank you for journeying with us during the course of the last several months. It's certainly been a challenge. We're excited to have your children back in Liberty Public Schools.